Hello everyone, local viewers of Benir's Explanations. Now, over the past 12 months or so, there's been one video which has got more views than probably any of my other videos combined. It's me looking for a grass snake. Well, I can't just let that slip through the net, you know. I've got to follow it up with something equally as exciting. So that's what we're trying to do today. And we're actually pretty close to home. This is my local patch. And just down this little path here, which not a lot of many people go down, which I'm very pleased about, um, is a little piece of corrugated iron which we were turning over multiple times to get those beautiful grass snakes in that video. But we're not looking for a grass snake, we've done that before. We're looking for another species of reptile, it's another one of my favourite British animals, I've got to be honest. Um, so let's go down this path and see if we can find one. Just what we were looking for, and it's just about to shed its skin. Come with me and we'll get a closer look at the thing. What a beauty! Look at that! You can just see, and there, it's just shedding its skin now, actually. So I've got to be extra delicate with it. This is a slow worm. And it's almost cliche to say this, but this isn't a snake or a worm. It's a legless lizard, of course, we all know that now, right? Um, but what a lot of people don't know is how the hell do you know it's a legless lizard? And isn't a snake a legless lizard anyway? So what's the difference? So to explain that, you've got to think in evolutionary terms. You've got to think about the tree of life, specifically of the reptiles. If you think of a tree of life of reptiles, the snakes, or the snakes as we know them today, the ancestor of them diverged from all other reptiles at one point. That ancestor gave rise to all the species of snake on the planet today, right? And then the lineage which gave rise to the lizards went on, okay? So at some other point in time, along that lizard lineage, there arose this kind of lizard without any legs, okay? And why would that arise? Well, probably for the same reasons as why snakes evolved in the first place. It was probably good to get in between nooks and crannies and whatever um, to hunt prey. Okay, that's a good guess as any. So, the slow worm and snakes lost their legs for the same reasons, but at different times in their evolution. And you can prove that pretty clearly by looking at their DNA and seeing that the slow worm DNA is a lot, lot similar to its cousins, the lizards, such as ones we have in this country, the common lizard and the sand lizard, um, than to the species of snake that we have, okay? But there are loads of other features you can look at to show that this is in fact a lizard. Um, one is by focusing on the eye. Now, lizards have eyelids and snakes do not. And I've seen it a couple of times already that this slow worm has been blinking quite a bit. Another feature which distinguishes them from snakes is autotomy. Now what's that? Autotomy is the ability to shed your tail. And I've experienced this actually. When you try and grab a lizard um, from the tail end as a stress response, it'll lose it, okay? It can only do it once in its lifetime. When it grows back, it's a small stumpy version of the tail, which doesn't look as good, but does the job. Although they're one of our most common reptiles, you don't really see them that much because they're not the type to go out basking in the sun. They'll just happily sit under a log or in amongst vegetation here and heat up um, using the sun's rays that way. They'll very rarely go out of their way to just sit there in the sun in full view. So that's why you don't see them as much. And this is a perfect habitat for them as well. In that pile of grass cuttings is a great place for them to give birth. Now, these slowums are slightly interesting in a way because they don't lay eggs um, and they don't 
essentially give birth to live young, they do something in between. They're what we call ovoviviparous. So that's where the eggs develop inside the mother and hatch inside the mother and then the mother gives birth to them. So it's sort of in between there, which is pretty cool. I think it's time to pull him back, or her back, where I found her. All right. <coughs> you don't want to have her. All right, off he goes. Excellent. See you next time. Oh, hello. <laughs> Didn't see you there. Did you enjoy the video? Good. Well, if you did, you know what to do then, don't you? Subscribe! <laughs> All you need to do is press that button there. Just there. And if you want to see another video, just go over there. The world's your oyster.